Hey everyone, it's Nate Sendaway114 back for some more Super Mario 64. Last episode, we um finished all the secret stuff, I believe, by doing the missions that we couldn't do before by using the um invisible cap and the metal cap. And if you're wondering why I'm at this title screen, is because I, as you can see, on my actual file of the game, not my walkthrough file. As you can see, I beat the game completely. So, yeah, I just beat the game completely yesterday. Um, so yeah, um. But, um, there is a little cool thing you can do if you beat the game in, um, if you beat the game. Um, but I'll show you that later. So, for now, I'm just going to... Yeah, as you can see, I'm not playing on the N64. Well, I told you that on the first episode, so I guess not really. So I have to reset to get out of here. But, um, basically, yeah. And in this episode, we are actually going to continue it. As you can see, we need, like, tons of secret... We needed to do tons of secret stuff. We got um, rid of the moat that was in the castle. And there was a hole there so we could do the invisible cap thing. And when we did the invisible cap thing, we got to be able to do the um, mission we could do in Big Boot Haunt, which I believe is the fifth one. And then we went, we also went to the first um, place of Hazy Maze Cave, um, which um, was, was, there was a secret place there, which let us get the metal cap. And we did the metal, we used the metal cap to do a level we couldn't have done in Jolly Roger Bay. We also talked to a random toad here that gave us a star. And we caught a random bunny that also gave us a star. And well, yeah, that's about all the secret stuff we've done. So now in this episode, we're actually going to do a level! Starting with mission six. Um. So, let's start here with Swimming Beast in the Cavern. As you can see, we get the metal cap here at the beginning, so if you want that, you can get it. For some reason, I don't know why you want, might want it, I don't know. I'm just using it right now, for no reason. And since I've beaten the game, I'm actually working on Super Mario 64 DS, which is the sequel, the complete version of the game. Once I get like a DS version, the DS recording thing that I can actually record things with, I'll probably do a walkthrough of that game, since there's like way more stuff to do. Anyways, there's a star right there, we can't really get it right now. But basically, what we have to do is go down here, as you can see, this is very familiar to where the, um, this, the, to where, um, we did the secret thing, we just went into a door over there, but in this one, we have to get on that dinosaur thing that I called Barney <laughs> but um we I, I didn't um I actually figured out the name of it uh, I believe its name is Dory so basically what we have to do is we have to do a backflip up onto the top of its head to actually do something up there and just change the camera angle a bit so as you can see the stars right up there we have to wait until Dory gets like really close um, to the star to get it. Like, do it. Oops. Come on. Yep, she's going very, very slowly. And we're getting close to the part that I could just jump onto that platform and go to the secret area. But um, unfortunately, I couldn't i already did it so yeah i wish it was like that here because seriously come on get the star there's like a secret way to do it on the japanese version like i saw this guy like wall jump onto this platform and then do like a side jump on it and then he like did a side jump on it and landed on a block and then he went like he went through the wall and started flying to this room and then just landed in the star. It's pretty impressive. I can never do that in a million years. But I just need to get the star. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. 
Yeah! Okay, got it. Okay! Um, so... Now that we've done that... Um, we can go down here. Elevate for eight red coins. Wow, the eight red coin mission is actually in the second mission. Of the Usually it's in like the fourth mission or the third or the third one. But okay, what am I doing? You're not even supposed to go this route on this um part. You have to get up here. Okay. You have to go the other route, and if you're like really bad at getting through this part, you just use a metal cap. But seriously, the only way you can use it is if you're like really bad, so you won't get hit by any of the fire or anything. But, um, yeah, basically you end up here, and... Okay! Ground pound for you land there. So basically, anyways, um, what we have to do here is... You have to go. Yep, right over here where the scare where the staircase seems to be. And oh, is that Mario? And we have to get onto this thing. And once we move it, we have to go this way. And we have to punch these bricks to get the red coins. Wait, what? I missed it. Um. Try that again. Seriously? Punch it! Oh, seriously? And I'm missing the first coin! Oh my. Okay. Okay, wait, what? The, the, no! Okay, I should actually figure out what I'm doing here for a second. Because. This is like way. I'm like way more used to this on the DS version. I like actually just did it today. But anyway. Okay. Oh, what the? I saw the red coin through that block there for a second. That was weird. Get that? No, I must get that. Um, I just realized there's like a little thing over here that's pretty annoying. You want to keep going that way, and then I guess you have to backflip over it because that's what I just did. Oh, usually I fail really bad on that thing. Get red coin in there, and then you have to wall jump over wall jump over here. You have to long jump over here, and then what you have to do is you can just go off, basically, and then you go back up here, and the thing will be back there. And from there, you just want to long jump, and you can actually make it here, and then you just go up the pool. And then get off here, and there will be a little thing you can ride. As you can see, there are two coins right there. Don't really bother getting them right now, um, because they're later in the mission. Well, if you don't fall off. So, um, as you can see, there's a little block here. I'm not sure if this has a red coin. Yep, it contains nothing. But um, there is a red coin over here. Take that. Fifth one. Okay, then this one comes right over here, and you can get that coin without even jumping to get it, but you have to jump over the platform, and then that leads you right to the part with the last two coins. Oh, I almost fell off there. It would just be a nightmare. <laughs> Hi, seven! <laughs> okay, that was weird. That number seven was right in my face there for a second. Well, I guess number seven is the lucky number. Which is why it is my favorite number, but whatever. Anyways, um, we just got out there. We're doing pretty good. Now, before I do this, on the DS version, I actually talked to a different toad than the one I talked to get the star. So I just want to check if I actually get a star from this guy. Okay, okay that guy doesn't make anything. He's useless. <laughs> Anyways, um... Metalhead Mario can move. Um, so basically, what we have to do here is... Okay, I know you're thinking, Oh, well, I guess we have to get the Metal Mario. Don't be fooled. You don't have to get it now. Basically, what you want to do is go on the left doorway. And then you want to go over here. Ow! Okay, let's try that again. So you want to go back over to the place where... Um, 
where Dory is. And um, just go down here and then fall. And right before you land, you want to do a ground pound. Yeah, it worked. And then here there will be one, so you want to collect that. And then you want to run down, but as you can know, if you see the last episode, Metal Mario can walk underwater. And you use that power to walk over here, this way, I believe. Wait, I have actually not. Dang! Where was I supposed to- Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to hit that switch over there. So, basically, what- But th there's a little more advantage to the DS version, which is actually the- The mission is renamed to Met Metalhead Wario Can Move. But, um, basically, what you have to do, it's like- It's like- It lasts longer. Like, the metal- The metal, um, power-up lasts a bit longer in the DS version. But I did it before, so I know I can do it now. Well, why the heck am I going so slow? Dang it, I just missed it. Okay, I'm cutting. No, actually, one more time and I'm cutting. Because I believe three times just sets me off on that case. Man, this is supposed to be easy. I did it on the first try on the DS version because it's like, like, about like two seconds longer than the DS version. For some reason, it was going like very, very slowly. I'm gonna walk down it instead of long jump down it. That was a bad idea. Yep. So might as well go back. Okay, see you guys in a second. Did it! Okay guys, I'm back. Basically you have to walk all the way over to that switch. And that will open up this, and then you get into this room where you have to long jump twice! Come on! Why? Why? Yeah, just made it, okay. Okay, let's try this again! This game hates me so much. Okay, third attempt. Come on! Come on! Okay, I guess there's no possible way I can avoid that. Oh my. Okay, let's try attempt number four. I'm gonna have the long jump. The twice. But I wouldn't have made it the first try if I hadn't, you know, when I. I had an accidentally ground pounded, and now the camera angle is changing randomly. Stop accidentally ground pounding! Oh my gosh! Mamma mia. Okay, final attempt because look at how many lives I have. I got an idea. And it failed. See you guys on the next episode of Super Mario 64, where I'm gonna try this again, and hopefully not fail, like, five times like I did last time. So see you guys in the next episode, and remember to subscribe.